So here, this plant right here, very fragrant, Osium basilicum, this is sweet basil or just basil. Now, as I look at this plant, this is one where we know that we use this for culinary purposes and we eat the foliage. And it's used in things like pesto sauce, tomato sauce. You might see it on top of a pizza. Uh, but it is an annual plant that is grown in the herb garden or in the home garden also for ornamental purposes. Here in my lapel, I've got a darker leaved variety of basil with very small leaves uh, that can be quite ornamental. Uh, you might hear people say Thai basil, sweet basil, Italian basil. There are a variety of different basils that are used throughout the world for culinary purposes. Uh, it is a plant that really likes the heat. It really does not start to come on until we start to get a little bit of heat. Grow it from seed. It's easy to grow from seed. Uh, the leaves are quite tasty, very herbal flavored. If you've never tasted basil, you need to experience the smell, the aroma, but also the taste of fresh basil. Uh, as flower stalks come on in the summertime, you want to cut those off because you're not growing it for flowers, you're going, growing it for the foliage. If you're tired of harvesting basil, you can let it go to flower. And actually, it's a great attractor of pollinators. Uh, so the basil plant, a uh, great one to add for culinary purposes in the landscape, but also can be used as an annual that's quite ornamental. So just one to two foot high, spreading out 10 to 12 inches wide, cultivar dependent, hardy to zone 10 uh, and above. If it was in, we were zone 10, this might uh, stay alive all the time and get quite woody. Uh, slugs can be a problem with basil. Not an extreme problem, but they, I have seen some slugs on basil. And here's a landscape tip. Remove young flowers and pinch back to encourage profuse foliage growth used for fragrance in the annual garden.